Hey everyone, John here, and I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but what can you do, you know, when you have all that mental illness happening, but here I am. Um, I just got home and I'm kind of frazzled, but I, ha I, have to, I had to film this because someone, someone sent me a surprise package without telling me, and that person is Chris, so this is a personal call I'll post to you. Anyway, as you can see, this package is really huge, and it got opened up by Customs. So, thank you for not even doing a good job, Australian Customs, but... Uh, let's get started, I guess. Uh. So, yeah. Uh. So, people keep asking me, like, why I haven't made videos yet, why, why, you know, like, there hasn't been videos coming out at all for me. And the thing is that it's just it's really really hard to like spend ages just staring at your own face and vi while video editing and listening to your voice and seeing every single flaw that you can hear in yourself and of course like 2020 was just not a good year for me to like look at myself <laughs> or stuff like that but I have put some of that energy into my Instagram account so if you actually want to see me produce content Check it out there. So yeah. Oh. Again, thank you, Chris, for this long-standing attempt at sending me stuff because we were meant to send each other like huge boxes of crap, um, like in twenty nineteen. But stuff kept coming up, kept coming up, and then also it's just you know, oh. also like twenty twenty was just not a good year for like. Um, like mailing and stuff to people, especially internationally. But oh, <laughs> uh, look at all this stuff happening. It's just filled with ribbons and stuff. And yeah, so now this is kind of lit a fire under my ass to like you know send stuff to him. But yeah, oh, uh, okay. We have a integrity toy stand. So hopefully, hopefully this is. This meant that like nothing's actually broken, thanks to you know Australia border security. But you know, okay. So I'm putting that there. Disney store Elsa body. Um, it's a very light purple skin tone. Really bad articulation. So for me, I have to like snap off the hips. I have to like carve out, carve it out, and then like put in a pin, and then like string it up like an old school gymnast body, for it to actually be like you know posable because yeah when it sits it's just it's not very good you know but hey i'm happy for that uh all right canadian air that'll be very useful <laughs> a princess and the pauper erica doll i actually have one already but um all the little like tool all the little like netting and tool has just been completely eaten up so it's good to see one where, you know, this isn't frayed to hell because, you know, like pieces of Velcro keep attaching to it and ripping it to shreds. I wonder if this thing's... Or not. Okay, sorry for like, groping, but... Okay, yeah, she's dead. My, my one can sing, but, you know, my one needs the dress upgrade, so I'm very happy about this. I don't like that sound, but, you know, what can you do? Uh... Whew. A bag of doll heads, so if you look at that, that's that's the Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, let's go look at this. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is the BMR 1969, <laughs> no, 59, <laughs> um, Tango Head, a Generation girl, um, Chelsea head with, with her neck carved out, so, I don't know if Chris did this, or if he got this from another person, who, like, carved the heck out of it. A, a Miko doll, like, dark-skinned factory head. A, The Yves Saint Laurent, yeah, head and 
a Carl sculpt with like pre rooted like red hair. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of like you know interesting little like collector Barbie heads in here. So much stuff already. Like oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that I, I feel kinda rushed trying to get through all of this because there's so much stuff and I'm just like just cramming everything in. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, a bag full of black clothing. Oh, okay. Um, this is the collect. Sorry, this is the collector brats clothing. So this is like one of them, I think. I think this these belonged to Chloe. I can't remember because I have no feelings for or against like the collector brats dolls. But yeah, so like little details like that. The ja jacket. And, yeah, I don't know who's gonna wear that, but it's nice at least having more doll clothes. Ooh! Oh, a... <laughs> um, a Batman vs Superman hybrid with a action figure Captain America head. So, you know, pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, a fairy topia blue, blue sparkle fairy. Um, Chris sanded off all this, thinking that it would match a um collector water sprite doll head, but unfortunately it didn't. And he's just like, well, he wasted his time doing that. But hey, doll for me, you know. Hey, it's just there's just so much stuff happening. Uh, uh, okay. Um, an Integrity Toys Body Completer Pack that was being sold on the Integrity Toys website. Um, it only includes like the lower half of the legs and the arms, so I need to think, think of a way to like put a um, bust on here. Part of me wants to put a big breasted um, bulk stow torso on here and then, you know, have like a really, really exaggerated um, body. But another part of me wants to use this to paint green and put a um, Maleficent doll head on, but who knows? Who knows what I'll do with that. Uh... Okay. Um, I don't remember which specific uh, Barbie this comes from, but since I've kind of gotten into doing some uh, Little Mermaid dolls... Ah, yeah. I I am always happy to get like more like kind of like bar like Barbie adjacent um mermaid stuff. So that that goes there. Um I oh yeah, uh Chris bought a like um little mermaid aqua fantasy aerial to customize and here's just some of the extra crap that came with the doll that I guess he didn't want. So thanks for that, Chris. And here we have a crap ton of uh, red doll hair. Judging from the writing here, it's from Custom Doll Hair AU, which I highly recommend because I've been buying all of my doll hair from there. And yeah. Ooh. Okay. Here is a bunch of Collector Mermaid. Um, Parts, so, oops, yeah. So, here's one from one of the more recent releases. Um, he got the doll for really cheap, and he's like, "Okay, John, I don't want that. I don't want clothes. You know, that's your problem." So, here it is. One of these tops. I don't know which one this comes from, but I'm sure someone will come out and say something. Uh, yeah. A waistband thing, I think. Uh, a really sad Lika-chan head that no one can really see because I have a really shitty camera. <laughs> oh, okay. This is from the Wrinkle in Time Mrs. What's It doll, so I'm assuming that's where the top and waistband comes from. And I got two, 
two little drinks here, and the Aqua Fantasy Aerial Head. So, I think I might I will lower her hairline and see, like baby strength her head, because she has such a fucking huge head. So, <laughs> you know. Oh. Thank you for that, Chris. Uh, okay, I have a bunch of doll heads in here, so it's another BMR nineteen fifty nine Tangle head. So she, I really did not like the clothing on BMR dolls, and it was so expensive to import. So I have none of the dolls, but I'm always a sucker for the Tangle head sculpt. A Mattel um, 2019 Bo Peep head. A BMR 1959 Kira head, which I kind of don't like, especially since I find the paint really, really bad. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Um, a. Yeah, an acetone trunk um, Bo Peep head. A. Whoop. A Disney Store Cinderella head. I think this is one of the older paints because she's like forward glancing. Yeah. A Factory Carl Lagerfeld head sculpt. A A um, Justice League Mera head. So she has no hair. And. Oh. It was really hard to hold with one hand. And... Oop. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this. Put these back. And these two heads, which is a closed mouth generation girl head and Wonder Woman's mom or aunt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm very excited. Um, we have even more doll stuff. <laughs> doll heads. So, it's just going to be so much to photograph, but thank you, Chris. I know I sound ungrateful, but thank you so much for all of this. There's just a lot to get through. So, we have a Mattel Sleeping Beauty head. Um, I think there's one later releases, but I don't know. Um, the Bottom of the Wrinkle in Time Witch's head, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, but... You know, a aerial, like, a little kingdom aerial, so, <laughs> and a bitsu, oh wait, no, not a bitsu, this is a Volks anime head, that is, yeah, another Carl Lagerfeld factory head, um, A Momoko head that I think he got from Mandarake, so yeah. Uh, it just has so much stuff in here. <laughs> a Poppy Parker head, so it's blank. Ooh. A um, like G one uh. G1, a Generation 1 Lika-chan Motherhead, so <laughs> I don't know why it took me forever to like name that. And a Factory um, 2016 Shira head, so oh, so, so much stuff and we're not even like halfway through the box. Okay, this is just um this is the collector boys brats um, outfit, so I'm very excited for this because I really want to dress my water route in clothes like this. So, yeah. Thank you, Chris, for that. And, yeah. A Minton Box fashion pack for Toy Story 4. Arguably the worst Toy Story 4 <laughs> movie. But thank you for the clothes. A yeah, a knockoff um, Elsa body. 
you can tell it's not a knockoff Elsa body because it's purple. So, who knows what I'll do with that. Okay, the wristband. So, that's interesting. Um, oh, okay. And here's the thing that I think got, um, like, customs attention, which is a boiled jointed doll body. I actually completely forgot that he was sending me one of these. Since, you know. Yeah. yeah. Since he did say that he didn't want a ball jointed doll and he was thinking of downsizing, and I'm like, okay. Like, if you're sending me shit anyway. So I think this is a fantasy doll. Like, I think that's the name of the company. Like, when they made a double jointed body. Because I remember having one. Okay, this isn't double jointed, but this is one of the doll bodies, and I distinctly remember it being fantasy doll because the nipples are so badly sculpted. They're just like little, that little dimes just like squished onto the torso. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put my spare doll head on that because I do have one ball jointed doll head that I've not done anything with because he has no body. And woo, um, a DC superhero girl's bumblebee body. So I'm happy about this because it's because it's a slimmer body and it's also in the light black skin tone, which is pretty hard to find a jointed doll body for. So I'm happy about this. Mm -hmm. Canadian Air, and the last thing. Which I'm actually quite happy about. Um, I love green-skinned dolls, and I've just never had the chance to own a Tonna um, Wicked Witch doll. I think this, yeah, this is my first um, like 16-inch tall doll in general, and yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything with her, but I'm very happy <laughs> to own her. Um, and the shoes have fallen off in the box, so yeah. Thank you, Chris. I'm assuming that doll stand was actually meant for this doll, because this is <laughs> because this is the base of a stand as well. And yeah, so <laughs> that is a lot of dolls. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put my spare Borgia doll head on this body just to show that I actually am doing something with it. So BRB. And I'm back, so yeah. Here is my okay. Let's see if I can. Yeah, here is my Ipple House doll head. I don't remember which one, but I only remember because he has a little back plate here. So yeah, the skin tone match is oddly not terrible, but I should probably will try to do something about it. But yeah, otherwise. <laughs> There is just so much, so much in here. Um, oh, I got to say thank you. Thank you, Chris, for continually adding to this box. So, I don't know what else to say except thank you. Thank you so much, Chris, for all of this. And yeah, um, I don't know when I'm going to make another video, but if you want to see more content from me, check out my Instagram. I also have a Patreon account now, weirdly enough. I know, right? <laughs> um, thanks to my friends for like forcing me to make one. Um, that's where I post a lot of my early content and where um, I post my work in progress stuff and where I just get to like talk a lot more than I usually would be able to on Instagram. And yeah, I think one of the things I'm most excited about is the Wicked Witch doll. So <laughs> she is one of my... She is one of my, not holy grails, but like dolls that I wish I could just have. So yeah. Um, anyway, I would say like and subscribe, but I don't know when I'm going to make any more content. But who knows? Thanks for watching me be a bit crazy today. So bye. <laughs>